Hey guys, Captain Boomerang back for a Let's Play Jack 2 Part 9 of our adventure in blowing stuff up and stuff. Now, also, we got a car, and I just noticed right now in this second that there are buttons in this car. How cool is that? But anyway, in the last part, we talked to Torn, and he gave us a mission about saving his old Crimson Guard comrade, who we've yet to meet, but we know that there are girls, so let's do that in this here part here. Now, what you need to know is that the mission takes place at the pumping station, and also that this is being recorded on my practice file, because I bunked up recordings like eight times in a row. I, like, I honestly should keep a record of how many failed recordings I have before I actually put out a part, because if I told you, it would astonish you. I think this is trial number eight. But anyway, uh, that's enough insider's look. I'm going to be cutting till we get to the pumping station, and then the real fun is going to begin. Sorry, guy. Nothing personal. That was personal. <laughs> See you guys. Hey guys, so here we are at the water water the water slums. I'm not scrapping the recording because I messed up a word thing, so if you thought that's what was gonna happen through in the future in the editing studio, that ain't gonna happen. So anyway, yeah, this is the practice file, and uh, it doesn't matter because we got all the orbs here. If you wanna know where the all, all the orbs for the pumping station are, I suggest you go back and watch other stuff. Also, what are you doing watching part nine? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, in this mission we meet a new character and it's gonna be a lot of fun but the difficulty level just increased that metalhead you might recall is the same metalhead that Sig took out a couple parts ago they are called spider gunners not crab heads I don't know what I was doing but they're not they're not crab heads they're spider gunners anyway what you wanna do is you wanna hop up here kill these goobers regretfully because they're pretty darn adorable and you wanna just keep on moving through here but yeah, this mission can disorient people a little bit because they don't tell you exactly where to go and how to do it. Like, most of the missions, they kind of tell you where to go and it's kind of guided. But the pumping station is a lot more open to you now, so you might find yourself wandering around. But, you know, if you're using me as a walkthrough type, you'll just follow where I'm going. Honestly, I think it's a pretty interesting design that they chose not to tell you. I mean, granted, you can basically tell where you're supposed to go based on uh, enemy placements, but it's still kind of, you know, nice. You know, a lot of games today, I feel, are a little bit too easy, where, you know, they kind of handhold you a little bit too much and expect you to not know anything a little too much. But, uh, Skyward Sword. <coughs> Cough. Ha. Anyway. Um, but not this game. I mean, this game does kind of challenge you in that sense, I guess. And that, that I can respect it for. So, anyway, you want to hop up onto these rotating platforms that we've seen here before. Very nice, very nice. Not sure what it does, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool for platforming. Now hop off these stair-like uh, contraptions that were not active before, so that's a nice change to the area that opens it up for you. A little bit of a hint, if you will. So, if this big ammo dump right here isn't any indication, we've got a hella big fight coming up, so you really want to make sure you stock up and get your wits about you, because we're about to go into the thick. So, uh, the key to taking out spider gunners, and juice goons for that matter, is distance and position, especially in this level. You always want to maintain a good distance from your enemies, otherwise you're going to find yourself having trouble taking them out. Let's snipe this guy. Come here, pal. Also, I really like this area because it's a lot more woodsy than a lot of the uh, rest of Jack 2 is because it's more industrialist steampunk. So, you know, I can respect that. Also, I'm not moving forward because there's a cutscene and I just wanted to talk about the scenery. Man, look at that. So nice. Just like Jack 1. Anyway, uh, here's a cutscene. I'm going to shut up now. Yeah, what the heck are we doing risking our lives to rescue some old crimson guard hag anyway? She's probably got more facial hair than me. Who the hell are you two? Mm, I do love a woman in uniform. Wanna bark some orders at me? Woof, woof. I'm your soldier on the front lines of love. Waiter, foxhole for two. Keep talking and I'll raise your voice a couple of octaves. Easy. Torn asked us to help you. I don't need help. But you might. We've got company. Oh, looks like we got ourselves a strong, independent woman. Come? We don't need no man. I'll stop. But, uh, this is, uh, I'm not gonna say the name, because apparently we don't know who she is yet. But even though most people probably have already played this game, know exactly who she is. Now, I will say this about Ashley. She can handle herself just fine. She wasn't kidding. I'm surprised that we're here at all. I mean, I guess we're only here to introduce her. Uh, we're only here to be introduced to the character. But she is kicking butt. I mean, just look at that. She's doing a way more flips and acrobats than I've ever seen Jack do. Uh, just saying. Oh, I'm not even following my own rules here. So yeah, the main thing with these is distance. I'm out of bullets. All right, let's get busy then. 
Alright, so. With the blaster mod, you want to maintain distance. With the I'll Lucky shut up. To take care of those metalheads was uh, pretty exciting, wasn't it, Sugar? Hey, sweet strikes! Give me them digits so I can look you up sometime. We'll party hard, big city style. Tell Torn Baron Praxis is planning something big. I think it has to do with that symbol. What is it? It's the seal of the House of Mar, the founder of Haven City. We're being sent out on suicide missions to locate artifacts from the time of his rule. If curiosity's worth dying for, you can ask the blind old soothsayer in the bazaar named Onan. She might know something about all this. Here's my bazaar access security pass. Your name's Ashlyn, huh? We're even now. Wow! What a woman! Arr. Couldn't have put it better myself, Dax. Couldn't have put it better myself. Now, that's actually a heavy plot dump. Also, we can we got a new security pass. We can go to a new area of the city. Sidebar. Anyway, uh, so that is the Seal of Mar, and we're going to be diving a lot more into the mythos regarding Mar and his legacy when, in regards to Haven City with this game. So if you're really interested in that, if you like kind of like that Legend of Zelda-esque mystery surrounding legends and mythos and all that crap, then I think that you will really be in a treat for the story, and that's all I've got to say for that right now. But Ashlyn, Ashlyn in particular, is a really good character in my opinion. I really love the way that she's developed through as the story progresses. I mean, as much as a video game can develop characters, really. And uh, I can really appreciate, you know, just a lot of aspects about her character other than, you know, just the whole, you know, hot, strong, independent woman that doesn't need a man or whatever the heck. But, uh, yeah. Um... Other than that, I don't have too much to say about the mission. We're kind of running up on 7 minute 50, so uh, I think I'll meet you guys outside the city. If you don't know how to get out, check your maps. If you don't, if you don't know how to bring out the map, I can't help you because, you know, you're beyond my health powers and stuff. Anyway. Oh, wow, I made that. See you guys when I get out. Hello. It's good to see you still alive. Oh, it's good to be alive, scary computer lady. Good to be alive. Anyway, welcome back to Haven City with me, folks. And something that is peculiar right off the bat that you'll notice, not really peculiar, I guess, but um, we've got three missions that we can go to now. You heard Ashlyn mention the blind old soothsayer Onan, and believe me, she's a very interesting character, and we're gonna go see her eventually. We've got a Vin mission off somewhere in the corner. Uh, ignore the Oracle thing, because we already did that. And we've also got a crew mission. Uh, and this is where I really just kind of want to talk for a second about an idea that I just had, and I think it's kind of a winner, and I usually don't pat myself on the I on the back about ideas, but here's an idea. What if you guys chose what mission we did next? I'm serious. I mean, what if you guys just pick which missions we did in between? Because you have a lot of options in how you want to do the story, and so that way you can, you know, tell me how you'd like to see the story played out. Uh, maybe it could be like a voting kind of thing, but for now, just please comment and leave your opinions as to which ones you'd like me to see me do. But, um, regardless, what I'm going to be doing now, because it is the past and I can't contact you until time travel is, uh, you know, up and running. Trust me, I got that project in development. It'll be going on, like, five months. Anyway, um, I'm going to be doing the crew mission, so I'll see you guys over at the port section of the city, and we're going to see a little bit of a cutscene, and maybe that'll be it for a part, because we're running up on ten minutes here. So. See you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are at the port section, uh, about to get our crew mission. It's I'm running up on twelve minutes, so I'm not, uh, great. I'm running up on twelve minutes, so I'm not quite sure how much time we'll have after the cutscene, but we'll see. We'll see. Hey, Sugar Plum. You know here? Well, what you got that's, uh, and wait, I've seen you before. You're with the underground. Shh, I'm Tess. Torn sent me to spy on Crew. Play along, and I may be able to get my hands on a few of Crew's secrets. Ooh, I love undercover work, baby. But uh, two can work better than one. Let me help you out. <laughs> wow, there sure are a lot of bottles back here. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, that's. Ooh, that goes down. Uh... Ooh, boy. That's real gold for in here. How about this purple stuff? Whoa! Jack. That's the stuff. I need you Fire. and that talking rat to go around and make a few collections for me. Hey there, five gins. How's crime? What's his problem, <laughs> eh? Nothing. I'm just fine. Mind your own business. I sometimes feel so very. Listen. Very I have six clients around town who are about to make money cops with me. I need you 
need you to collect each money that I as as you can. And take care of any guards who get curious. Mm. Oh, get your money so back too late. Can Feeling so dry! You know what the trouble with you, Crow? You got no reason. This place could be a real swinging joint. Hot like heaven with more dancing, more macking, more women! Jack knows what Just I'm talking about! Just collect all 14 money bags Jack. before they disappear you know and bring them back here. If you lose what? even one I bag, you, then man. do come back, eh? Okay, I'm sorry, but anyone who thinks Daxter isn't funny, I hope that cutscene was indication enough that Daxter is by far the funniest partner character any I've ever seen in any video game ever. Are you serious? Hey, Five Chins, how's crimes? It gets me every time. Anyway, um, I'm thinking this is actually going to be it for this part, because the next mission, I'm not feeling I can get it done in ample amount of time, and I like to keep these short because I respect your time and my own, because I don't feel like doing it right now. So, if you like this part, which is, I don't know, maybe possibly likely, then you can, you know, comment, rate, subscribe, the usual YouTube crap, and check out some of my other stuff. If you didn't like this part, I'm kind of unhappy, but hey, at least now you know not to watch my stuff anymore, so that's kind of good. And you probably stopped watching a long time ago, so that's kind of weird that I'm saying it now. Anyway, uh, see you guys later. Bye. so I can look you up sometime! Oh, sorry there. Be advised, we're on route. We're on route, we're on route, we're on route. Oh, jeez, dude, what the heck? Oh my god? Oh my god? Is he in the water? Wait. That is so cool. That's going in the log. You guys are gonna, you have to see that. That was just so cool. Serve that city. Sacrifice for that city. Suspicious activity in the sector. It's a boy with a meerkat on his shoulder and he's driving really fast. That's suspicious.